Well, so today we will study the link between agreeableness and mental disorders. Agreeableness encompasses all of the traits directly related to altruism and cooperation. Agreeableness has a unique role because it reflects variations in the mechanism that are responsible for allowing people to coordinate their goals with those of others. Human beings are intensely social animals, so this capacity for coordination is fundamental to our nature. The two aspects of agreeableness are compassion, which reflects empathy, interpersonal concern and the absence of callousness, and politeness, which reflects the tendency to follow social norms and to avoid exploiting or acting belligerently towards others. Psychopathology related to agreeableness is mostly associated with lack of agreeability, typically called antagonism. Antagonism is associated with externalizing problems such as misconduct, antisocial behavior, and aggression, as well as with narcissistic entitlement and grandiosity, paranoid distrust, dishonesty, and inability to maintain stable social relations, relationships. It seems clear that variation in the system responsible for social information processing include emotional empathy and theory of mind, as one cannot accommodate the goals of others if one cannot understand them. Indeed, research has shown that some facets of agreeableness predict performance on theory of mind test. Theory of mind depends on the components of the so-called default network, a set of brain regions that tend to be active when people are not engaged in an externally oriented task and which appears to be crucial for thinking about experience that is not present to the senses, including episodic memory of the past, imagination of the future, and the imaginative experience of others. Most of neural research has come from the study of empathy as a trait which is a major component of compassion. Individual difference in empathy have been linked to regions of the default network. In addition to theory of mind, empathy is also related to the tendency to experience emotions vicariously, and this ability appears to be linked especially to the insular the anterior cingulate cortex, ECC, and two patterns of neural activity that are similar when one experiences distress oneself in oneself <coughs> or witnesses someone else in distress. It's been found that empathy is related to the cortical volume of, or thickness <coughs> of the insula, and also that compassion is correlated with cortical volume of the insula and ACC anterior cingulate cortex. Finally, antagonism is positively associated with levels of the hormone testosterone, which appears to be most specifically linked to low politeness based on research about this linking testosterone to individual differences in interpersonal behavior and aggression.